Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. It is Tina. How y'all doing? Oh my God, I started this new schedule at work, which I have to be to work for 1.30. I always get here like an hour early so I can get a halfway decent parking space because when I get off at 10.15, I don't want to be walking out here and get bust upside the head because you know most of these companies uh, that work these weird hours be in some suspicious neighborhoods. You know, they get the buildings at an affordable rate, but it still be a uh, kind of suspicious neighborhood. So with that being said, um, I'm here. I've eaten my morning. Well, I eat lunch. So whatever I eat at on my on my peak, on my lunch break, my actual lunch break at five o'clock, I make sure it's nothing too too heavy because I always eat something like uh, a bowl of cereal or something when I get home from work. So I won't be hungry before I go to bed. This is my last and final week of my braids. Uh, they're coming down. Thursday night, uh, Friday morning, they'll be fully down. Uh, my daughter's doing my hair. Well, I'm going to take them down Thursday night. Um, my daughter's doing my hair Friday. Uh, she's going to uh, shampoo, condition, and uh, touch up my roots and everything so I can be good to go for my next protective stop. I'm trying to debate do I want to do loose hair crochet braids or do I want to do some more uh, faux locks. I'm not 100% sure at this time. But, uh, yeah, the move went well with us moving into the other place. It went really, really well. Uh, I'm close, like I stated, I'm really close to my daughter now as far as living, living conditions. We're like, we live in, I thought we were living down from each other, but technically we're like a building or two over from each other in the same complex. So it's kind of good because uh, if she ever needs a babysitter or anything like for the past couple times, she has something to take care of I was able to babysit because I live so close so and I'm loving my baby my grandbaby she is so funny she's three months uh, she she's aware that she has a voice uh, excuse me when you talk to her she talks back uh, when you look at her she looks back at you and because I you know I'm an Android user I I know a lot of people don't like Androids, but I'm an Android user. I've always been an Android user. Uh, well, I had an iPhone once when I worked. My work phone was an iPhone, and then I had the iPhone. This was many, many years ago. It was an iPhone 4, and it was one I had it for maybe a few months, and me, my daughter and I swapped phones because I really liked the Android phone. I did not like, I did not care for the iPhone. So, and I've always been like that. I like the camera quality of the XR, but that's about it. I really didn't care for the iPhone. So, uh, call me, call me what you want. I just have a preference of phones. That's all. So, um, as far as hauls, I have been picking up stuff. I have been guilty of picking up things. Uh, but overall, uh, as far as shopping, shopping, I haven't done any major, major shopping. Y'all ain't gonna believe what happened to me when I was leaving my house. I was looking all cute, uh, but I was walking back. They repaved the driveway where we parked behind our apartments because we have assigned parking back there. So in order for me to get back there, you actually have to walk walk from your walk from your unit around, or you'll either go out through because there's a side door. You'll go out through that side door, but if if nobody's home, I can't go out through that door. So basically, I go out the way I go out. So anyway, um, I was walking and there's, you know how they have the little drainage tubes that normally go off the side of the building? Well, they covered this one so it'll run down. I didn't realize it was a dip. So I'm walking, I'm walking to my car. But when I walked, I stepped down in that drainage ditch and fell my ass down. When I say I fell, I hit that. I bounced on the ground. I was like, God damn it. But luckily my purse and everything had braced my fall. So I wasn't too, too hurt, but I was more embarrassed than anything. Um, I hurt my ring finger, but it'll be, it's a little sore in my foot. I hurt my left foot, but it's a little sore, but I'll be okay. 
other than that uh, nothing too too much has been going on we get ready to bring my son back to school I have a doctor's appointment next week uh, so I'll be at the doctor we'll be headed to Florida immediately after that appointment because my youngest son um, he's transferred from the school in Mississippi he's going to a school in Florida uh, which because of some uh, I didn't understand I didn't understand how this went but if your recruiting coach leaves the school at any time while you're there uh, you're able to transfer to any other school in the US you're not locked in so with that being said uh, his his recruiting coach left and went to another institution he had wanted him to come with them but my son had made a decision because the coach that initially had recruited him offered him what he wanted and he accepted it so he went where he, he went where his bread was buttered and where he could get a better opportunity with his uh, professional career so I'm okay with it at first I was a little apprehensive but I'm okay with it um what else has been going on my hairstyle that's what I wanted to get back to what I want to do with my hair I'm not 100% sure what I want to do with my hair at this time I'm not sure if I want to uh do faux locks because I do I may want to do some 14 inch faux locks I'm not sure if I want to do the free trips goddess ones with the curly ends or just the regular skinny ones or uh, if I want to do bohemian locks if I want to do or if I want to just do some loose hair I know I, I want to do loose hair but I'm kind of wet want to wait I kind of want to wait so I might do some brown hair since I've been doing black consistently for a minute. I might do some color because, uh, you know, I always do color at one point during the year. So I might do some color then. I know I get my dollar drink with my ice. I get two cups of ice. And I put the ice in there because I keep that in my little work cup. These little cups came from H-E-B. They were like six, it was on sale for six dollars. I think they were regular twelve ninety nine. They were on sale for six. I got a black one, a royal blue, and a hot pink. So, and then I have my stainless steel one. My son gave me that's just a little bit bigger than that. One. My husband said, "Why do you have so many of those cups?" I said, "I like them because you know I can. It, it really makes me cognizant of drinking water, and it keeps me up on things. Cause I do. I've cut back to only one." soda I've cut back on sodas to only one a day at one time I was drinking in essence to four to five sodas a day I've got myself I've weaned myself off it to one a day and then in some cases depend on what I'm doing that week I don't drink any soda so I'm doing I'm doing good I'm trying to lose I've lost some weight even though my face is always gonna be chubby I have lost some weight so I'm glad for that. I go to the doctor on Thursday. Uh, my doctor's gonna let me know um, about some other tests that they've run and let me know the results of that. But uh, so far, so good. What I have on my face today, as far as makeup is concerned, I have on, uh, as far as the brow pencil, my eyebrows is just a brow pencil from the beauty supply store. Um, what I carve my brows out with is the what is it Milani concealer in 165 along with the um, Maybelline concealer in cafe my underlying eye concealer is uh, Maybelline concealer concealer in uh, is it hazelnut I have my what is it Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation is the powder and the um, it's the powder and the liquid along with my mineralized skin skin finish setting powder. Like because I like to have a, a more airbrush look, and that's what the uh, it gives me a better look. It gives me a better finish when I use it like that. Also. I have on some retro tress glamour is it retro tress glamour tress lashes in 501 s why is it 503 501 or 503 with 
my Maybelline liner. I have on Max Ampering Rose Blush, which is kind of muted, and my Milani uh, highlighter. I forgot the one, but I know I think it's the one with candlelight uh, highlighter. And for my lip glass, I have a Milani new lip glass with uh, it's the Milani Keep It Full number four Luminoso. watching I just stopped in the touch bases to let you guys know I may bring some hair to you guys because I did pick up some hair I wanted to do a different crochet style but I'm gonna wait till it gets a little cooler for that because it looks more like a sewing y'all know I like the wavy hair so I mean wavy hair crochet hair so anyway thank y'all so much for watching rate comment and subscribe and I'll talk to you guys later bye